Welcome to the continuation of our lesson. At the end of this video, you are expected to determine the standard form of equation of a circle if the given is in general form. From the general equation of any conic section, we can say that it is a circle if we meet the following conditions. The discriminant is less than zero, B equals zero, and A equals C. Thus, the general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. Now, let's have an example. Determine the standard equation of a circle and show the graph. Example, we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 3 equals 0. The first thing to do here is to combine like terms and move all the constant on the other side of the equation. So here we have x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. The next step is we make use of completing the square. So how is that? It's simple. So we have x squared plus 4x plus blank plus y squared minus 6y plus blank equals. So since we added two blanks on the left side of the equation, we must also add two blanks on the right side of the equation. Great. To complete the square, all we have to do is to get half of this value, then square it. So we have 2 squared, and this is equivalent to 4. So this is 4. Also add 4 on the right side of the equation. So for this one here, we have negative 6, half of it, then square. We have negative 3 squared, and this is 9. So this should be 9, and we must also add 9 on the other side of the equation. Great. Now, we call this term as the perfect square trinomial. So to, to shorten that one, we can simply write it in this form. Simply determine the square root of your first term, we have x, and the square root of this term, we have 2. Okay? Now, the operation we used here is addition. So, the operation here should also be addition and add square there. Okay? So, same process with y. We also have plus the square root of y squared here is y and the square root of 9 is 3. The operation we use here is minus. So, this should be minus and simply square it. Great. Then, add all the constant on the right side of the equation so this is 16 okay now try to observe our answer this is now in the form of standard equation of a circle remember that this 16 can also be written as 4 squared Thus, we have the quantity of x plus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared equals 4 squared. It is now in the form of the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. So, our center here is negative 2, 3 and our radius is 4. To graph the given equation, locate the center first. Then from the center, since our r is 4, plot a point 4 units to the right. Plot a point 4 units to the left. 4 units below it and 4 units above it. Again, simply connect the outer point in a circular pattern. Then again, you have now the graph of the equation. Congratulations! We are now done with week 1 lessons. See you next week. Bye!